Today I'm going to show you how to properly record a Hangout back into OBS. If you do this improperly, you'll end up with issues such as echo and other things you won't notice during the Hangout, but then when you get done, you'll go back to recording and find out there's this loud, horrible echo. So I want to make sure that you don't make the same mistake I did. Let's go ahead and set up OBS so that it can actually listen and record this in a way that's not going to step over each other. I'm going to use Black Hole. It's a new driver, new audio driver in 2019. It's currently made for Mac OS only. There's an installer and there's also a brew install script. I personally like the brew install script because it's quicker, so that works just fine. Just run this in your terminal. Once that's done, you're ready to create a multi-output device in your audio devices. So go down to the plus, create a multi-output device, put Black Hole in it, and put whatever speaker you're using to listen to the Hangout in here too. I've got a Jabra headset on. Notice there's two Jabra devices. There's an in and an out. The in is my microphone. The out is what I'm listening to. So I'm listening to participants in the Hangout. So down here, Black Hole is going to listen to this output, which is the speakers in my headset. And we're going to listen to that, and we're going to stream that back into OBS. So once this is created, we'll go back to OBS to make sure that we set it to listen to the multi-output device so it can listen and record what's being said by our participants in the Hangout. So in OBS, create an audio input capture and set that to black hole. So now we're able to capture that stream coming from the Hangout from our participants. We also add a mic input here so it can also listen to what I'm saying. Then make sure to go up to your sound to make sure that multi-output device is selected. And now, we're almost ready. We have to change the Hangout to use the multi-output device as the speaker. When I want to use the microphone on my headset, the boom, as my microphone. I'm going to unmute the participant here. This is my phone set up upstairs to point to the TV to mimic a participant in a Hangout. So if I unmute this, you can hear it. Now let's go back to OBS and make sure that it's actually listening to this. Sure enough, it is. You can see that my mic is moving independently of the input capture. And that's all there is to it. A couple other things to keep in mind is in your settings, make sure that you're using 320 for the bitrate. Make sure you're using CBR for the rate control. I use a hardware encoder for both recording and streaming. It's also important for the quality. In audio, I make sure that the sample rate's 48, which is a little bit better. And really, the rest of these don't really matter. If we set this to default, it's like it doesn't have any effect on what we're actually trying to do here. One other thing that may not be obvious is, yes, we have one speaker selected here. We're gonna record that in OBS, but if we want some surround sound, just add another speaker. So I'm gonna add built-in output, which is my MacBook Pro speakers. So now I've got two speakers running while we record it in OBS, which is kind of nice. And finally, I just wanna mention briefly, if you're using an equalizer such as Boom 3D, it tends to take over your entire PC's sound. So if you were to go to your sounds, you're gonna notice that even if you try to switch to multi-output device, it goes back to Boom. So what you have to end up doing is just simply exit out of Boom and now you're able to actually set your multi-output device. One issue you might run across is that your speakers don't have any output. Uh, one time I came to my PC and this multi-output device just was not working anymore. I couldn't hear anything on my speakers. Even though I had a speaker selected here, I couldn't hear anything. So I just ended up recreating this multi-output device and everything was fine. I don't know if this is a bug in OS X or what, but just recreate the multi-output and you'll be fine. So I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment. I'll try to answer them. In the meantime, check out my other sites, wedotdd.com. It's a site that lists companies and teams who practice test-driven development for all you developers out there. It talks about how they do it, uh, stories behind their process and whatnot. Also check out Dimecast Short Codecasts for all you developers out there as well. And last but not least, check out TDD TV, screencasts on test-driven development, yet again for you developers out there.